In today's video, I'm going to be testing a club that could quite possibly be the most surprising release of 2023, and in many ways. For starters, I didn't think this club was even required within this lineup. It also performs in a way that I wouldn't have expected it to. It's very much a traditionally styled iron, but has ball speeds that you wouldn't expect from the style of club. It is in fact a blade like iron, but is in fact a cavity back. You see right now PXG has one of the broadest lineups in terms of their whole range to be honest with you. Not just in terms of clubs available in sort of style and type, they're meeting every player's requirements, but they're also meeting every player's budget right now which makes this super interesting on twofold one like i said it's not an iron i expected to see necessary from pxg right now but it certainly fills a void and matches up quite seamlessly with another club within their range that we'll talk about very very shortly but it also includes later on in this video an iron that i will show you which is quite special and one that i've not had my mitts on before right so that is the pxg 0317 cb yeah cb meaning cavity back and as you can see it's got that little dialed in weight that we'll talk about later it's a fairly small profile it is almost blade like looking at the address position what i'm going to do is talk about in today's video is just how forgiving this thing might be and how it blends into the other lineup and where it fits in that pxg lineup both in its positioning and also its price point well the first thing to note is just how good these things feel and just with that extra little bit of help that i wouldn't get in the st model you can certainly why see where rather this CB plays takes its place in PXG's lineup. This is where you've got some decisions to be made and it's at the short end of the bag. What I played there was the gap wedge from this CB lineup. But one of the big deals is the way in which you can possibly blend this set with that ST model. That ST being a lot smaller, a lot more what well, it's blade like. So in the short end of the bag, perhaps gap wedge, wedge, nine iron, eight iron, you might even be persuaded to sort of filter in some of those STs if they're what suit your eye. But to be quite honest with you, from what I can see the profile of this gap wedge at address, I'm not really sure the reason and the logic that you might want to do that. Now what has surprised me is the longer irons because the four iron in terms of the way it's set up is obviously still quite small. These are our lowest cavity back, the CB, a very small profile. And when I was stood over that, I must admit there's a little bit of fear and trepidation. But yet again, with a lot of the sort of blade-like irons that have uh, come to fruition over the last year, 18 months or so, they're far more playable than you quite expect them to be. And when I say playable, I'm probably referring to forgiving. Today's video is brought to you in partnership with Hot Golf, the online golf megastore bringing you the hottest deals in golf and of course the clubs featured in today's video. Find the link to the Hot Golf website in the description below and check out some incredible giveaways and offers. Well this is the area for me where this type of iron becomes really interesting. So you're at the long end of the bag and you're thinking maybe a little bit iffy in terms of it all gets a little bit small. The short end of the bag I absolutely love, but then these mid irons and mid to short in this case is where you've got that sort of makeup of a really workable head shape and profile coupled with some great feel. So in theory, playing sort of half a nine iron, which is what I'm about to attempt to do, this is the kind of club I'd like to be trying that shot with. So in other words, I don't want a super game improvement, I had a big chunky effort, I don't really want to go to blades if I can help it. So I've got this club that sits somewhere in the middle and hopefully gives me the best of both worlds. That ball should just make its way in off the left hand side. It's actually stayed there. It's pitched up pretty much pin eye, but it's that really balanced and controlled swing. And what I'm finding with these irons is that with a blade, I'd fully expect to be sort of 
everything has to quicken up the tempo has to get quicker i have to make more club head speed to generate the ball speed i'm not doing that because one of the surprising things is i talked about forgiveness but it's also the ball speeds that come out this thing nice easy swing and a ball seems to be zipping out there and it's nothing like what you'd expect to see from this type of iron profile now i mentioned about that short end of the bag and uh, something that really interests me is the ability to blend these things in i'm just going to show you first of all that is the st that's the wedge out of the st by the way and that is the gap wedge from this cb range now when you sit them both down in the address position quite honestly there's not a lot of difference between the two at all so if you're the player that wants to play that smaller profile you're really getting it within the cb and i'm kind of almost confused as to why you might want to mix the set up to be honest with you because don't forget these are both forged they've both got incredible feel and my reckoning is from what i'm experiencing so far is that just bit of extra forgiveness that i'm getting out of the cb model makes this very much the obvious choice no matter kind of what level you're at in terms of player profile that is so this kind of shot which is whatever it is 40 yards out I just love the fact we've got that great feel that comes out of these forged clubs. Just grab down, just grab and grab. And we've got that small profile, which I absolutely love. It's a real dilemma for me, these sets of clubs or these type of sets of clubs, because they're everything I always want to be, which is playing that smaller profile, having a forged head, having that super feel and sound can I persuade myself that there's enough forgiveness in these CBs to warrant a player of my ability putting them in the bag? That's the big question. Now, before we go any further, I just got to talk about the way these things look as we do in any review. But for me, I just think they're one of the best looking cavity back irons that I've seen. And let's be honest, cavity backs have kind of well, they've disappeared a little bit. There's not a huge amount. We're all talking about hollow bodied irons right now. And then you go into that super game improvement iron. Oh, you've got the blade. The CB is not a lot to choose from. And I think this is just a little bit of uh, almost like a throwback in many ways um, with a very much a modern twist on it in terms of its styling. We all know about that weighting system in that back end there, which is super important as well in terms of custom fit that sort of PXC offer unlike any other brand in terms of being able to dial that exact weighting to suit your swing and performance as well but they just look really good there's a milled element out that back side they've got that sort of weight down that bottom end a bit more of the mass sort of suggests a little bit of a muscle back look about it as well their profile in terms of uh, heel to toe is about right as in the sort of height of face and the width of that top line i really do believe they've got a sort of style and look of a club that could appeal to the masses and probably it's more playable than a lot would think but there is another element to the looks of this club which you just cannot ignore and i think it's about time i revealed the best looking club that perhaps i've seen from pxg so far and that club is the darkness version of the 0317 CB. It is absolutely stunning. I just take a look at that. I mean, it's not gonna help you play golf any better, but oh my word, they're gonna look good in the bag. I think it's absolutely stunning. Just the fact that almost everything is blacked out into that darkness finish with just that shiny bit of PXG logo, the white, milled wording text on there so so good and the decal on the bottom is the number of the club again in white it looks superb like i said doesn't help your shots any better but if you're going to spend your money on these things i think it's worth a little bit of an upgrade and play for the dark pay for that darkness finish oh that feels so good i mean maybe they do make you play a little bit better who knows come up a tad short but it was bullet straight and again the feel out of that thing i mean i must admit it's come pretty much right out of the middle if we can pick that one up and it felt so so good the ball fight was superb it was very much traditional in its ball flight relative to loft and many golfers are really going to appreciate that 
I think we'll pretty much make that the last shot of the round, to be quite honest with you, because, uh, well, we've tried a long iron, we've tried mid irons, we've played in and around the greens, and we've played those short irons, and we've also took a look at this sort of darkness, which really does stick out there. And uh, as you can see, a lot of positivity, which uh, arguably I uh, give to PXC products quite often. And uh, yeah, I've got no shame in that fact. I like what they do, and yet again, They've come up with a product line which uh, I really, really like. This CB lineup is pretty much one that I never really knew they needed, but now it's here, I certainly get where it fits in. I perhaps question more so about the ST. If you want an all out blade, then go for it. That's there for you. But like I said, when you compare those two at address, the ST and the CB, there's no real difference in terms of profile but you're definitely getting a little bit more meat packed into that CB in terms of help and forgiveness. So really, really good set of irons, you know, super, super feel, look good, great in the bag, love the darkness finish. It's a 10 out of 10 for me, I really struggle. And what I struggle with is this on a personal level, is every time I play a set of irons like this, let's take it back to the TaylorMade P7 MBs. Absolutely adore those clubs. And I persuade myself that I'm not good enough and I shouldn't play them. And yet every time I bring a set of these clubs out, I hit pure irons and don't really understand why I make that decision. And honestly, I just keep looking at these things and thinking, are they gonna make the way into my bag? Because uh, I don't know, they just might, you know. Anyway, as ever, thank you for watching. Thank you to Hollywell Golf Club. The sun is shining. It's great to see some signs of summer at last in the UK, fingers crossed. Anyway, enjoy the rest of your week, enjoy your golf. I'll see you all very soon. Likelihood is it'll be tomorrow night. I'll see you then.